Boys, it's day 18 of building our own TD game. So today, we are actually going to be focusing on the end game screen. So that way, like, when you actually, like, win the game, you know, your character maybe will get coins. You know, obviously, there's gonna be a big pop-up saying that the game's over. And then, you know, maybe it'll be kind of like the basis of, you know, teleporting you guys back to the lobby, which we don't have a lobby yet. But we're gonna have that being added to the game probably in the next couple episodes so i wouldn't really be too worried about that so guys listen if you're new here make sure y'all smash that subscribe button we have come a long way on this journey and i want you guys especially if you're new here to stay till the end to see this game actually be finished because it's gonna be pretty epic guys i mean we're already on day 18 so you know we're getting kind of close at least for like the base game obviously we're gonna add plenty more troops in the future last episode though if y'all missed it we set up a very very important system guys where you know you guys can place your land units anywhere on the land but for example if you want to place it where like you know there's elevation like a sniper would be up here you know you can't do that for non-sniper units but also same for the water you can't place in the water anymore and i got the raycast working properly so this way look at boats they actually work so that's really cool definitely uh you know at least a big improvement for us so i like that a lot but, you know, the same thing for the boats, you can't put these on land, as you guys can see here. So, honestly, I'm really happy with the way everything's coming along here. It's uh, it's going pretty, pretty well. So, you know, we're going to keep things going, keep things rolling, and hopefully day 18 will be a success. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so first off, we did a little bit of cleanup inside of our main script here. So if we go in here, you guys will probably remember at the start of the series, we had a bunch of the wave logic inside of this right here. Now we just, you know, we call this right here basically, and that is from this module script where we can just set up all of the wave, you know, functions and, you know, the full setup for that, I guess, I suppose. Like, once again, this is a lot of stuff that was once in the main script, and that would be a lot more if we actually made every single wave kind of more unique, which, you know, we will once we're uh, ready to do that. Right now, not too worried about that. That's pretty easy to do, but, you know, but right now, now we just clean this up. Look how much nicer that is. We just literally call that right there. And it gives us all of this. So, really good stuff there. It works too. So, you know, as you guys can see here, the game's going to start as normal, as intended. And everything right now so far is working very well. So, very cool. We're good. And we can move on to the next thing, which I think we're going to get on to like a wave bonus. So that way, if you end up killing all the enemies in a wave, you're going to get a special bonus. So let's do that next. Alrighty, boys. So we have officially moved on to making the end game screen so this is what we got so far in our you know stutter gui here we added just an end screen we actually made this an image label which i'm actually surprised about but uh that's what we did so right now it's invisible but if we make it visible this is what it's going to look like so it'll show you you know if you won game over you know whatever you know a little text here and then kills gold wave it'll hopefully update to that all that good stuff and then the exit you know text button here but just get you out back to the lobby so let's uh script it so it actually works now we're just gonna keep following along numbs video we're halfway through so let's finish it up guys i just want to show you something i just found out something big it took uh 18 you know videos to figure this out but the reason we had always had this like wave like above the screen is because if we go into the game gui like screen gui thing here there was just this one setting it was called if i can find it again oh no where the heck did it go i swear it was in here guys i promise y'all so it was something very important oh ignore gui i think it says inset g it will set i i have no idea i can't read that i think it's inset to be honest with you but if uh we go into the game now and we look you guys will see it's you know where it's supposed to be and if the game were to end which uh you know we were setting up that end screen there right so let's put down our guys by the way i kind of messed with the logic so we start on round five right now so just keep that in mind but it's all working fine so we get to the end here we get our extra little bit of money we get the reward and obviously this next wave starting it's not supposed to do that the game should just end immediately so we'll fix that later on but before there was like this little like border up here where this like the ui wouldn't touch so we figured that out we fixed that looks good now as you guys can see so that'll be the end screen there and then you know we'll uh you know obviously make that look a little bit nicer as we uh get it to work so let's figure out how to make it work now all right guys so we're gonna test this we should have most of it all set up i'll show you what i did after this round's over but remember we're spawning on wave five just so this goes a little bit quicker but just upgrade our guy make it go a little bit faster here place down an extra one you know whatever do what we gotta do to get the dub and let's see what happens so boom all right 
that's cool it works now obviously this kill thing isn't working very well but uh the money shows you how much money we had it shows you what wave we made it to and you know for example if we lost it would just say that we lost and it would be like red you know I can't say that word. The Vignetti? I don't, I don't know if that's how you say that or not. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But we got uh, the victory. You defeated the Axis. And honestly, I think we need to remove where it says victory or game over on the uh, message board there. So let's go into here. And somewhere in here, guys, it's telling us either like victory or game over at some point or another and that is within the message frame i believe so i think that's the message frame at least not the end game frame but like the maybe info yeah this right here this message okay so we got to figure out exactly how to essentially get rid of that because we don't need that anymore there's no point of having that so somewhere in here if we see something about the info and that being all set up or whatever then that is what we're going to go ahead and change. It could be just maybe in here. So let's see. So info, if not game over. Okay, I think, oh, well, the problem is it's looking for that to see if, uh, you know, if they should display the change or not. So I would think maybe we could go ahead and, like, make it invisible, maybe. So that could be one way we could do it. If that's not the way to do it, then I'm not too sure. Game over equals true. See, the, yeah, this is where it's being displayed. I just wish that it wouldn't pop up, honestly, because it just personally doesn't look the best. I mean, a uh, normal eye probably won't see it or whatever, but I could see it. So that's that. But let's just try real quick here. We'll spawn in if we go back to main here. Actually, we're already in main, so that's good. Sorry, we actually have to go to round. We could spawn in the uh, German tank, potentially. Just... Actually, could we do that? We should just do maybe m Militia. I think those guys... Well, no, those are slow. So we'll do the German tank. We'll spawn in, like, two of them. Just let them go around the map real quick and then uh, kill us here real fast. So that way we can test out to see if the lose screen, game over screen, is working too. So let these uh, tanks get around the track real quick here. And then... We will see if everything is working as intended. Now, yes, these guys move a little bit slower. And once again, guys, don't forget that we are always able to adjust the balancing of the game. That's going to be something that we do on the fly. You know, once I release this game, we're going to probably be streaming this nonstop and promoting the game and stuff like that. So, you know, since I'm the owner and I'm very open to suggestions, stuff like that, you know, I hate talking to the, like, game devs and them just pretty much straight up ignoring me and stuff like that, so I want you guys to be able to help make the game basically with me, that's gonna be the whole point, so those of you guys that actually are maybe a little bit older and maybe have, you know, not even if you're older, if you're young and you still know what you're doing, you could definitely help me out, because I want to have a good balanced game, but let's see if this end screen works here, it should, theoretically, game over, boom, okay, cool, now, we just got to get this uh, kills thing to actually work and stuff like that, and it will be good. Now, this money here, it's only calculating how much money you currently have. So, I wish we could get it to, like, you know, how much you had throughout the whole entire match. That would be pretty neat. But, uh, and also the wave 5 here. It, it technically, would, you know, it's not really wave 5. It would say wave 1 right now, but because it, we are spawning on wave 5, that just has to do with the, uh, the logic that I set up. Now, I feel like I didn't actually hear the like failure noise for some reason there and it should have played the failure you know we have it right here failure or do i have to name that to game over maybe i don't know i don't know why that didn't actually like not well it displayed i guess but the uh the sound didn't technically go off for the game over and it worked for the the win but it, i don't think it worked for the uh loss and it should be in here somewhere above that no it's gonna be down a little bit more spawn tower no let's see here they scroll down a little bit more this is potentially somewhere where it should be around here somewhere right all right guys so we got everything properly working now i believe we'll test it out here to show y'all but uh basically the issue was you see this game over text right here well i actually had it accidentally as one word so that screwed everything up but we fixed it and i also made it now so in this right here this little line of code, right? A couple lines of code. It would display the victory and game over, right? That's what we wanted to do because once that change happens, 
that's when the other function is going to fire off, you know, right here. So all that, well, you know, hopefully you guys get that. But what I did now is I just added this little line back in. So it's initially false, then it goes to true, and then I set it right, right back to false. So that way we don't have to see that annoying text. And I got the sound to play for both the victory and the, well, hopefully for the, the death as well. So real quick, let's try victory real fast. So we'll throw down our good, you know, PPSH guy here. Throw him down right now. And this guy's probably going to have to uh, get rebalanced a little bit to be a little bit, you know, less good. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Also, you see how the uh, the shooting's coming from over here still? Well, remember in the last video, I actually did, in fact, fix that. So we're going to be chilling when it comes to that, guys. So don't worry about that. Don't be stressing. That's all uh, actually going to be okay. We, uh, we basically just had to go in because right now, the way it's working is it's actually going to all the old parts from the old guys. So we can fix that, though. It's not a big deal. But, yep, the victory noise is working, so that's good. Just once again, the kills isn't, but I think that's going to be here in a second. Yeah, it's, the next part of the video is adding the kill counter, so that's cool. But uh, if we go in and also try to lose real quick, that should also work and display. And then keep in mind, don't forget to keep an eye on this right here where my mouse is. That will, once again, that should not display victory or... At least maybe for like a second it will, because it'll hit that, and then it'll switch right back. So maybe for like a 0.5 seconds, you'll actually see it pop up, potentially. But theoretically, it shouldn't. But we'll see. Anyways, here comes the uh, snipers. Let's let them get to the end of the track and kill us. And then we will see if the end screen for losing pops up. Come on now. And then to tomorrow's, uh, you know, video is going to actually be setting up the lobby, guys. So that's going to be pretty cool. But anyways, right now, it's still not going to be able to do anything. All right, there we go. Cool stuff. We got that working. Now we just got to get the kill counter working and stuff like that, and then finish up this video. There's only like seven minutes left, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's uh, wrap this up. We finished the video, and we are going to show you guys that this is working. We also added in a little tween service, so that way, like, the end screen kind of flies towards your face at the end. But uh, you'll see that here in a moment or two once this game is over. So let's uh go through this oops i clicked off the screen there to turn the volume down a little bit notice the bullets were a little loud so turn that down slightly let's uh try to beat the game here real quick or we'll end up dying you know one of the two but let's try to get the dub actually honestly i'm gonna go for the dub let's just get these guys upgraded and uh ready to go here i don't want to lose so let's do that and you know we'll even get down our cool ship get that back there boom that'll do lots of uh damage of course we can't upgrade it right now because there's no upgrade ability to it but you know we'll get that going later on or something like that anyways these guys here we'll get them upgraded and let's get this dub real quick now so this guy is level five and i don't know why oh i think that the reason actually i don't know why he wasn't attacking well playing the animation i should say that's a little weird. He is now. I think that the other guy, this guy right here was just stealing all the kills. He was like, they were just dead before they even spawned in. I think that was the issue, to be honest with y'all. That's kind of funny. But uh, here we go. Yeah, that guy's just like literally stealing all the kills. Like he's killing them before they even spawn because he's like that strong. Which, once again, the balancing. Just ignore that for right now, guys. The balancing will be better as we, uh, you know, continue to make the game. But for right now, it's all going to be just fine. So... We'll let him do his thing, get all those kills real quick, and I don't know why, like, they're spawning in now. Okay, well, there we go, now they're shooting. That was weird. It's, I guess, if there's, like, a delay or something, but, eh, it's working. Cool. So, wave reward, we got the extra $75. Awesome. And wave three starting now. I wish I could get this auto skip button to work right away. That would be great. We'll get that going at some point or another later on. Did I just get an air for that or is that something else? Oh, humanoid is not a member. That was just for something to do with the spawn killing there. But that's okay. It don't matter. It's working. It's working well, guys. It sure is working well. So let's get this over with there should be a couple more dudes spawning and then wave five i think might just be like one tank or something like that so wave five should be a pretty quick actually no wave five might be the 15 snipers now because that's what i changed it to from before so i guess we'll find out here in a moment but let's let these guys finish the job here i still don't know necessarily why these guys well if i put this one on last then it's actually working so interesting guys interesting just keep in mind these uh, PPSH guys, they're a little bit bugged because I didn't set the uh, the bullet 
properties correctly so we'll have to get that working at some point or another but anyways we got this guy going now so let's see what if i put this guy on last or something like that i wonder what would happen here boom get the victory kills 209 money all that and the little like tween is working so good stuff guys day uh what was today was today day 18 today might have been day 18 guys holy smokes day 18 though what a success another good day for your boy so we uh, appreciate you guys watching these videos i know you know hey we're not getting a million views a video but we are getting like a couple thousand or at least a couple hundred and that's a couple hundred players that may be interested in playing the game so hopefully you guys truly are and you know we're gonna keep bringing you guys new episodes of this series almost every single day until we have a fully functioning game and you know still we're gonna keep bringing you more episodes because we'll have leak videos we'll have more updates you know we're gonna be adding in cool units throughout the you know time of making this like it's gonna be step step number one guys is getting a fully functioning game that's basic and then we build on every week from there that's it that's all we're gonna be doing so building 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 more videos for you guys a lot more fun it's gonna be a good time good time you know streaming the game all that good stuff because once the game's actually done like i said at the start of today's video we're gonna be playing the game with y'all live and you know maybe we'll probably have like signing and stuff in the game and all that good stuff so i hope y'all are truly interested for that i know i am and i hope you are too so make sure you guys if you're new here leave a like drop a comment you know do all that good at youtube algorithm stuff make sure you're subscribed too it helps your boy out a ton gives me a little bit of that motivation that's definitely needed to continue on doing this so i appreciate it guys next video is actually going to be adding more maps and map voting to the game so next video is going to be a little bit more fun where we actually go ahead and set ourselves up a cool little map so i'm excited to do that but we're probably gonna have to do this uh you know pathway logic again that's gonna be fun isn't it <laughs> okay well we'll have to do that that's not that big of a deal honestly so it's kind of like starting from scratch honestly guys a little bit a little bit but realistically we'll just copy the uh, path over you know and then just kind of start from there but you know so shouldn't be too too big of a deal i don't think so we'll see what we have to do but anyways guys seriously thank y'all for watching i'm just gonna build those maps probably in my uh other uh workplaces or like test zones and stuff like that that way i could just kind of copy and paste them right on over here so that'd be great but thanks for watching i'll seriously i'll see y'all in the next one day 19 tomorrow i'll see you there adios